Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today on the 10th and last day of these read alouds. I will still continue to post videos and do what I can to spread awareness of what's happening and what we can do to make a difference. So this is a really amazing book and it was actually a poem um, by Kwame Alexander and they made it into a book and it's called The Undefeated and illustrated by Kadir Nelson. So let's get right into it and I hope you enjoy this book. Don't forget to the discussion questions at the end. Okay. This is for the unforgettable, the swift and the sweet ones who hurdled history and opened a world of possible. The ones who survived America by any means necessary. And the ones who didn't. This is for the undeniable the ones who scored with chains on one hand and faith in the other. This is for the unflappable, the sophisticated ones who box adversity and tackle vision. Who shine their light for the world to see and don't stop till the break of dawn. This is for the unafraid, the audacious ones who carry the red, white, and weary blues on the battlefield to save an imperfect union. The righteous marching ones who sang, We shall not be moved because black lives matter. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unlimited, unstoppable ones, the dreamers and doers who swim across the big sea of our imagination and show us the majestic shores of the promised land. The William Rudolphs, the Muhammad Ali's, the Althea Gibbons, the Jesse Owens, the Jordans and the LeBrons, the Serenas and the Cheryls, the Reese Whitleys, and the Undiscovered. This is for the unbelievable, the we real cool ones. This is for the unbending, the black as the night is beautiful ones. This is for the underdogs and the uncertain, the unspoken but no longer untitled. This is for the undefeated. This is for you and you and you. This is for us. Wow, so this was a very powerful book. And I hope that you can pause along the way. If you want to go back, pause along the way and just really talk about those powerful pictures that we saw and the prominent figures that were in this, those pictures. So let's go ahead and get into our discussion questions. So how did you feel as you were reading this book? Who do you think the author was talking about throughout the book what does the author mean when he says this is for the unspeakable who are the unspeakable and why does the author use three pages to talk about them he uses three pages 
How does it make you feel knowing that people are treated differently just because of the way that they look? Skin color, race, language, hair color, etc. What does it mean when the author says black lives matter? Now we hear that a lot today right now with the Black Lives Matter movement. But this has not just been happening right now. It's been happening for countless years. So what does he mean by that? And how can we compare it that to what is happening in our world today? The book pays tribute to the perseverance of some of the world's greatest heroes who battled many hardships on their road to freedom. Although we know that there was there has been many victories in the battle of equality, remember, we are still fighting today. The battle for equality is still happening in our world today. What is something that you can do at your age to help with this? And it doesn't matter how old you are, you can still make a difference. If you, if you don't know how, here are some examples of things that you can do. You can draw a picture, you can make a sign, you can write a letter to someone, you can read books to get informed like you're doing right now. You can go back to my previous books and read alouds. You can inform others of what's happening. Maybe your friends, maybe other family members, anyone. You can inform them about what's happening in a respectful manner. You can ask questions, have family discussions. Always don't be afraid to talk to your parents. Sometimes us as parents don't really know how to let you know, right, that we're here. And sometimes some parents are really good about letting um, you guys know that we're here for you. But don't be afraid to talk to your parents. They're there to help. And if you can't talk to your parents, then you can talk to someone that you feel very comfortable with. And I'm sure that you will be surprised of the things that you get to learn together and how you guys can make a difference in the world. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you have a great day.